Welcome to Phyllis and Enthusiasts. My name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today I am so so freaking excited to finally be reviewing the full entire thing of Electra Woman and Diana Girl starring two of my favorite human beings ever, Grace Helbig and Hannah Hart as Electra Woman and Diana Girl. Oh, this movie is just so much fun. I've had a great time seeing it as episodes, bits and pieces here and there, and now it's a full movie, and I really, really couldn't wait to review it as a full movie. I did previously review it as the first four episodes that I got to see at Tribeca Film Festival back in April, and now it's the full story. You're gonna get everything, not in this review, but in the movie if you go and buy it. So let me give you a little bit of a summary of Electra Woman and Dying Girl. It starts off with Electra Woman and Dying Girl, or are their real life alter egos, Lori, who is Electra Woman, and Judy, who is Dying Girl. They live in Ohio in the middle of nowhere. They are superheroes. They do a little crime fighting here and there. Their goal is to be superheroes to where they can actually make money and do what they love to do and just helping people. But they are just barely getting by and their equipment that they use to help in their crime fighting is not that great. It's falling apart and it doesn't really work as you will see with the Dynasuction and <laughs> actually takes a guy's arm off in a convenience store. And because of that arm being pulled off by the Dynasuction in the convenience store, they're actually contacted by this big superhero agency uh, who wants them to come out to California and interview for them because somebody wants to represent them. So Electra Woman and Diana Girl go out to California and they are then represented by this agency and a guy named Dan. Things go pretty well. They get new costumes which are awesome. They get rid of that awful spandex and they get logos like this that look really really cool and they start kicking ass and they become really really popular and unfortunately people are gravitating more towards Electra Woman and then Dyna Girl gets pushed to the side so it becomes Electra Woman and her sidekick Dyna Girl and that's not what they're about you know they're Electra Woman and Dyna Girl and they fight crime together they're friends and as their fame starts rising it kind of goes to Electra Woman's head and she doesn't really see a problem with her getting the spotlight and Dyna Girl not and that causes a rift, of course. There has to be some kind of drama there. But they come together because Dyna Girl actually gets kidnapped by this new supervillain. There had been no supervillains for a really, really long time. And then that makes Electra Woman see like, oh my god, Judy, she's my best friend. I have to go save her. We're a team and all that. And then, you know, it's a big happy ending. Electra Woman and Dyna Girl come together to beat the supervillain in a very, very funny way. And they're back together. Great movie. <laughs> really, really fun. Uh, Grace Helwig and Hannah Hart are so, so good as superheroes. They are awesome. I absolutely loved from the first moment I saw this. I got to see the first two episodes because it was broken down into episodes. You can go onto full screen and watch them as individual episodes. And they were so funny. I was like, yes, this is so good. Their acting improved. They were great. They were funny as anything. And then at Tribeca Film Festival, I got to see the first four episodes and they were even better. It was just so much fun and Hannah Hart was just so, so happy about this. She was so enthusiastic. She kept asking everybody, she's like, did you like it? Did you like it? What'd you guys think? Because we got to meet her afterwards and she was just really, really excited for this. And you can tell they had so much fun making this movie. They had so much fun being superheroes and Hannah is a big like comic book fan and she really really had a great time doing this. All the stunts were really really cool. Grace and Hannah actually did most of their stunts and they were awesome. They were really awesome for what they did. They did a lot of running around, a lot of kicking, a lot of punching, just oh god they're so cool the superheroes. So much of this movie is Grace and Hannah. There's a lot of little things here and there that you're like oh my god that's just so Grace and Hannah. 
Um, if you're familiar with them, they are from the YouTube world. They are digital stars. And there were a few scenes that were like, oh my god, you did this in your video. Or like little things here and there, little facial expressions, inflections and everything that are so familiar to their fans. And oh, that was cute to see. A lot of like Grace's little smirks you get like before she talks. A lot of that kind of thing. Hannah's puns. There's so many puns in this perfect for Hannah because she loves to throw around puns and just so many things in this like if, if you really really adore them like I do and all of their fans you'll you'll get their little quirks and facial expressions as I said so much fun to see the costumes I cannot not talk about the costumes so first off they start with spandex which are like really cheesy very 70s from the original series and they look so uncomfortable they're like just so silly but you know like for judy and lori being out in ohio they work you know and i loved like the little touch at the beginning with their costumes because on Electrical Women's you see like a smudge of like food or something on there and it just shows that like they're real people that little smudge like to me that's what it means or what it shows and it's just so funny I love that little touch and then their costumes when they get their big management deal and everything oh my god they're so awesome the whole thing that Grace and Hannah didn't want was their costumes to be sexualized in any way and they wanted it like neutral and then they get like the awesome logos like this and their costumes are just really really cool like you can see a female going and kicking ass in that. It's not like a skirt. It doesn't look like it's super, super tight where they can't move and they can't make a punch. And I just, I absolutely love that. And I so admire them for pushing for that and for the costume team on this movie for coming together and working together to create these costumes. Like, they're just so cool. It's, it's actually like you can picture, if you're a girl, you can picture yourself fighting crime, kicking ass, being a superhero in these costumes. And Electric Woman and Dyna Girl is available to download now. You can go through iTunes, Amazon, or Google Play, or even electrowomanandynagirl.com, and you can actually get some pretty cool packages if you go to electrowomanandynagirl.com. I bought mine off of iTunes, and there's a lot of really cool special features. I watched it with the commentary before and it is hilarious hearing Grace and Hannah talk about certain things or make like little comments on their costumes or little comments on their scenes and what they did and everything and so that was a lot of fun to hear then there's like really awesome behind the scenes stuff you get to see there's um, an interview that they did last year at San Diego comic-con there's um, a scene with Dan that was cut out so it was like an after credit scene so much really cool stuff that are in the special features that make it more fun and I mean you can't go wrong with watching more Hannah and Grace and them being silly and them having a good time making this movie so that was my review of Lush Woman and Dyna Girl. I am so, 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 so happy I finally got to do this and do it in full and really, really go on and just talk about this movie because it is just so much fun. As I said, Hannah and Grace are amazing as superheroes. I'm so happy for them that they made this and that they had such a great time doing this and being superheroes. So if you liked my review of Electro Woman and Dyna Girl in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. If you have seen Electro Woman and Dyna Girl, if you're a huge fan of Grace Helbig and Hannah Hart, just like I am, let's discuss them. We can discuss the movie, we can discuss some of their videos, whatever you want to discuss about Grace and Hannah, Electro Woman and Dyna Girl, leave those down below. And if you have any movie suggestions, also leave those in the comments. And if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Let's Get Reels movie reviews because that is what I like to do here. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.